Welcome back, you Diablo 4 super fans. I hope you all have been enjoying yourself in the gauntlet. I know many of you got super hyped from my last video and the reactions to my last video, but more on that later. Now I know some of you heard about the poster they are giving out to the top leaderboard spots. Well, my quick tip for those about to test their might is to make sure you have as many shrine buffs as possible before entering. I mean, it's been two weeks with this already, so we should just assume it's a feature. But enough about that. When I heard that Diablo 4 was going to have a test realm, I nearly soiled myself from excitement. And I can't wait to do my part in sending them feedback, because I know for a fact that they take what we tell them and use their incredible intellect to make meaningful changes to the game. I mean, look at what they did with the feedback from the open beta. We told them, minions and this ice sword move were too fun, I, I mean, powerful. So they nerfed those based on feedback on a version of the game we can only level to 25 in. And I am sure those abilities are just fine now in the current game. Ah, uh, yes, I can't wait for this test realm. I just wish I could start testing sooner. Which brings me to today's sponsor. From the pioneers who dared to present a phone game at a computer game convention, the innovators who brought you the massive upgrade of Overwatch 2, and the developers who are responsible for the gem of a game we call Diablo 4 are now proud to present you with their next revolutionary idea with Diablo 4 Test Realm Ultimate Edition. Pre-purchase now and get up to four days early access to our test servers. Why wait when you can pay? Want to be the coolest out of all your friends? Well, you can with this PTR exclusive Ultimate Edition reskinned horse. But wait, there's more. You also get 17% off our PTR shop, which have reskin versions of all your favorite live server items. Imagine trotting around with your prestigious reskinned horse and gear telling all of your poverty-stricken friends about how cool you are. Yeah, I bet you can't wait. And you don't have to with the Test Realm Ultimate Edition. And finally, for the Diablo 4 Giga Chats out there, we present to you the Diablo 4 Test Realm Ultimate Edition Max. Max. This exclusive offer gives you everything from the Ultimate Edition, plus one extra day of early access, and 10 levels in the Test Realm Premium Battle Pass. Well, I know I'll be seeing you all in Sanctuary five days early. Unless you're like some sort of ridiculously poor last Epoch player. Okay, back to the main video. Damn, that Test Realm Ultimate Edition Max did seem amazing. And I don't want anyone to think I'm some kind of Last Epoch player who has just given all the aspects of the game and future content and expansions without paying more than I did for the base game. But I just spent all my money on the $65 horse, the $30 portal skins, and the Ultimate Edition expansion upgrade. Yes, I know what I need to do. Take all the reactions from my last video and re-farm them. Alright, here we go. We have a new video here from our friend Frostly. He's been making good meme content in the past and now he is memeing on the gauntlet and the four yet again. Let's see what he has to say. It has been too long, my old friend, but I am back to experience the glory. Is this another that sarcastic D4 bad system. video? <laughs> experience the glory, Pog, let's and might go. I say, what excellent timing you had with the leaderboards releasing in the middle of a season. And you said, In the middle, man. The season is almost over. April 16th, we have next season. Staggered release was because you were doing it for us. It is. Your average Diablo 4 enthusiast. With oh, our no. many jobs and kids, we needed more time to gear up to all. Six jobs, 11 children. Yes. Beyond the scene. And five wives, of course playing field when this magnificent piece of endgame launched. Yes, of course we believed you, and I'm sure no one had any issues with the delayed release one bit. Just like you had no issues with the launch of the system Was itself. he, hold on, was he leveling up his, all of the basic just abilities? Like had, of course we believe He's you. leveling up all of his basic <laughs> Is just, that a good build where you just put all your points into starter skills? I don't know if that is any good. I feel like that's got, it's kind of bad, right? Yeah, it's a terrible, yeah, it's just like a bad build. A new challenge arrives later in Season of Construct. Oh, oh. it's not. I see, so we're not uh. <laughs> Fuck, I love Riker. I see. Oh, I see. Prepare the for the gauntlet launches February 13th. So we're talking in just a week here, the gauntlet will be out. Biggest, you know, one of the big things oh, for, how wrong for us was. for season three was. And this is actually in just under 10 days. Man, I remember I was so hyped February 13th. Well, not so much, not so long after the season launch, but wait for it. Read through the comments and the opinions of everybody. Everyone is 
pretty upset. Because I would have been interested in, to, in doing the gauntlet, uh, you know, if it had been at the start of the season, 100%. It would have been at least like... But I feel like the hype is already dying down more and more the longer they wait. The hype died in season two. Why release the leaderboard a month after the season has been going? Like, what's the point of, like, releasing the leaderboards, like, at the end of season three? Exactly. People are not even playing anymore. Is there a <laughs> point to me doing it? The fact that you don't have the name. <laughs> Fucking Rob. Holy shit. If Rob's up there, like, if Rob is up there being like, they're not even playing anymore. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Holy, okay. I need some whiskey if we're going to watch the rest of this. Just got another update. Three times the charm. We have another official release date for the gauntlet another official release date yes this has been posted on the official diablo 4 website they removed the date <laughs> this it's f5 this coming soon tm i they moved the date so many times i missed this part i didn't even get to see this part and this was the second or third i actually have lost count and i still have lost count on how many times they moved this ah <laughs> uh. How do it's they, coming soon, guys. How do they do this, man? How do they do... Like, how do you do this? Like, I just think that... Like, if I imagine a Diablo 4 team, I imagine... A hundred monkeys in one small house, and there's a house fire, and all that they have to put out the house fire is gasoline. Just be patient. So the Gauntlet is going to live on March 5th. This is next Tuesday, so it's just five days from now. And it actually did launch on March 5th, the most perfect day well, ever. Well, it's third time's the charm, you guys. see, we also needed many more hours of farming Helltides. Oh, boy. Ah, dude, man, they got above Helltides. Helltides is just so boring right now, man. It's just a chore to do. And yeah, then Duriel is a whole nother problem. I just... I'm not going to farm Helltide ever. I don't give a fuck. Yep, I agree. Look, if they make the end game good and the end game is it, like there's good content, but I still have to farm like 10 hours of Helltide, I'm just not going to do it. I'm honestly, I'm never going to do that. Farming Helltide for me is the most boring goddamn shit of all time. I farmed Uriel for like one day and then I was like, oh man. They're both boring as fuck. I'm not going to do it. Then there were some of you out there who took the time the Diablo 4 developers so generously gave us to slack off and play Pokemon with guns, True, Joel's actually. Space Invaders, or even the worst of the bunch, <gasps> Last Epoch. If you played Last Epoch, you basically betrayed Diablo. That's pretty much cheating on Diablo. Oh, you don't shouldn't look at do me that. Like that. I only That's played fucked Last up, Epoch man. to um, research how bad it was and to warn others about all the issues in the game. <laughs> yes. yes, I told them about the lack of horses. If we're you can't get a $65 horse in Last Epoch, man. Driving past horses and you don't audibly say, horses, horses, then we're not friends. Now that's the sm This face really just kind of says it all, doesn't it? How much time do you think he, how much time do you think he put on this smile? How much time do you think he was sitting in Photoshop getting this smile just right? Holy shit, I know he's in there like, nah, come on, fucking lip sneak. <laughs> Mile I missed. But enough about that. I'm here to top these gauntlet leaderboards, and even though I'm only level 86 and only have one level 15 mm -hmm. glyph with absolutely no uber uniques, I'm sure I'll do just fine. Sure, why not? They brought in a brand new boss here, Tomb Lord. <laughs> brand new boss. Of this is one of the most classic reactions to this shit. And one of the brags like, Tomb Lord. The way he says Tomb Lord, bro, he is so absolutely fucking done. This gauntlet, um, I've never seen him before. That's very exciting to see uh, some, uh, some <laughs> I guess, I don't know, out of any monster they could have put at the start of their oh, but, video. I, I can't and believe. And he's the worst one. That's the thing is like of all the bosses, Tomb Lord is the worst that they put Tomb Lord here. Yeah. Um, because every single boss at the end of every- <laughs> Man, I can already hear the despair in Rex's voice. I mean, this is just like recycled boss, man. Like, oof. Nightmare Dungeon is always Tomb Lord. But this is like literally your casual player experience, man. He's in the run, dying all the time to level 70 monsters, like has red gear and can't get out of there. 
<laughs> Bro, he's broke. And this is where I noticed all my gear was broken. <laughs> I had no access to a blacksmith to repair, and I was unable to leave the dungeon and just had to wait for the timer to run out. What an amazing design choice. Thank you, Diablo 4 developers, for taking the extra time to really iron out this game mode. But hey, this is probably the only issue that came up with this flawless system. Oh it's not God. like people are able to bring in shrine buffs from outside. Am I right? What? So Diablo 4 brought out some new content. How did this even get delayed? Wait, oh yeah, they did have to delay this. Wait, this had to be delayed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he has 4K score, man. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even kill the Tomb Lord boss. So to better compete with my fellow Diablo 4 elitists, I need to do some research on how to properly run this gauntlet. And who better than the two most elite Diablo 4 Giga Jets Ooh. to explain it to me? Okay guys, explain this to me as simple and Listen. clear as you can. Um, basically like do one round here, click the first shrine. I think I'm gonna do like this round here, click the first shrine, do another full round here. So we go this way, this, this. This revive. So like this, 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 this. It then all makes this sense. Try and do another full round here. Let me go this, this, this. For example, like you want to do this segment or you don't want to do it. And then usually I run down, kill him. I mean, all the trash mobs only has 2,000 points. <laughs> run up, click the thing, <laughs> makes and sense, then kill right? him again. Also in my sheet here, like the progress for all the different stuff. And I can just like go all the way down here and then click this thing and then do the circle. Click this shrine, do another full round. And then with all the keys, I'm going to go here and open all the Which chests like? at the very end. Why they do this themselves, man? That's gonna be my strategy. Well, um, I wouldn't say I exactly lost you there, but I think I have a better understanding of the Path of Exile skill tree <laughs> than I do the gauntlet at this point. I just- <laughs> Wait, what is he talking about, man? Come on. It all makes perfect sense. Hello? I mean, look at this. Look at this art in paint that I made here. Hello? I just need someone to explain this to me like I am, oh. well, a Diablo 4 player. Yeah, you grab a whole bunch of minions, including the bosses, because apparently you can drag those. And you take them to the pillar, you get the multiplier, then you kill them all, yeah. Now that's something my there superior you, Diablo 4 brain can understand. All right, with my newly acquired knowledge of the gauntlet system, paired with my massive intellect and extraordinary skill, I think I am ready for round two. Let's do this shit. All right, I think I'm done. But before I go, Last let's check in with our Diablo 4 super fans one last time for some sage advice. What were they thinking? Like, I, I think to myself, if Last Epoch was as good was Diablo 4, would people feel like they got scammed from the Kickstarter? How is it that you have a development team that's so big and this is what you come up with? The slums map tile set with the Tomb Lord in it. Yeah, Frosty, it's... I'm not sure how much mileage people are gonna get out of this if they're like a casual player. To be honest, it doesn't look that exciting. No one really seemed like they were having a ton of fun. Some people only did like one run and then left to go play other games. It doesn't really seem to be super exciting. The hype levels are very low. But there's just no point to play because all the uber unique people that have been playing are gonna win. So I'll take my third and... Let's go back to last epoch. I've been blasting last epoch Dude, myself. It's the, like... it's the fucking music he puts in the background that gets me. It's the... It's like an Applebee's commercial. <laughs> like the last two weeks, and I'm definitely ready to do more of that. Ooh. Wait for season four. It's not too much longer. So you... Season four. Hey, guys. Hey, listen up. Season four is whenever Blizzard is going to finally fix Diablo. Okay? Yep, that's right, guys. By the time Season 4 comes out, they're finally going to have everything ready, and it's going to be good game again. The original video was made by Frosty LaRue. Frosty Lero. Hello, Frosty. I mean, watched your video yesterday, by the way. That was really funny. Well, that's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye. Fucking Frosty, dude. Frosty's going to be farming out these satire videos nonstop. He's got a million of these things. Sub to the boy if you want to see more of his satire.